Hi there. We're going to start at the top of our mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Bring your hands close to the heart. We're going to start with three nice deep breaths to begin our practice. So let's take a deep breath in and out. Again, inhaling, exhaling. One last breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's raise your arms all the way up. Reach up to the sky. Breathing in and then exhale. Take your hands back to the heart. That was pretty easy. Breathing in again. Exhale, hands back to the heart. One last time. Breathing in, maybe a little bend in the knee. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, arms all the way up. Reach up to the sky. Let's dive all the way down to the toes. Inhale, come on up to flat back with a nice tight belly to support your spine. And let's lengthen the spine so the crown of the head is reaching to the front of the room. We're going to dive down, back to the toes, breathing out. And then come on all the way up with a nice big breath in. And then exhale, take your hands to the heart. So we're going to do two more of these just to move the body and warm it up. Inhaling, exhaling, diving to the toes. Bend those knees, tight belly to support your spine. Exhale, come down back to the toes. Inhale, come on all the way up, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more. Breathing in, nice big breath. Exhale, dive to the toes. Breathe in. Inhale, the flat back. Exhale to the toes. Come on up, breathing in, reach to the sky. And then take your hands to the heart, breathing out. Well done. Arms all the way up again. Inhale. This time, diving to the toes, breathing out. Take your hands down to the mat. Spread them nice and wide and step back into downward facing dog. So downward dog, your first one of your practice, can be very movable. So we're going to pedal the feet, kind of get into our shoulders, our hands. And then find your beautiful upside down V where you're lifting your belly in, lifting up the tailbone and the backs of your thighs while engaging your hands and the tops of your arms. And breathe here. In and out with the breath. <sighs> okay, come on up on the tops of the toes. Bring your knees to the mat and go into child's pose, balasana. We're gonna melt here. So anytime in the practice, if you want to, you can melt into this pose. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath here, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing your hips. Inhale, and exhale. <sighs> well done. Slowly come on up. We're gonna stack our shoulders right on top of the wrists. Our hips are gonna be stacked on top of the knees. Let's sway the hips from side to side. Okay, if you're feeling stiff today, you have to do a couple more of these and don't forget to breathe. Okay, let's go front to back. Ooh, my wrists are tight. Back and forth, always breathing here. And we're gonna stop in tabletop, then lowering the belly, opening up the chest into cow. Exhaling into cat. Draw the belly in. Press into your hands. Chin into your chest. Inhale into cow again. Nice articulation of the spine. Putting breath into the body. Again, inhaling. And exhaling. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. We deserve child's pose for that. Okay, melting into Velasana again. This time being very conscious of expanding the back of your body. So let the skin at the back of your rib cage breathe and expand. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> One more breath in and out. <sighs> well done. We're going to slowly come on up. Oh, my dog is talking to us too. We're going to step forward the left foot in front with the knee on top of the ankle, the back knee behind the hip. From here, Anjanasana, we're going to lift up the arms, relax the shoulders, 
Now, if this is too much, you can take the hands down and just breathe right here. Take one breath in and out. Now, I want to see if we can take one hand on top of the thigh, taking the other hand up, right arm up, and then hand down. Again, we're going to breathe in, lengthening and releasing, breathing out. One more time, breathing in and out. I love it. Let's do one more. Inhale, reaching, lengthening, and exhale. Ooh, okay. Lift up the chest, tuck the toes under, spread the fingers, and step back into downward facing dog. Walk it out a little. Good. Up on the toes, knees to the mat. Let's do the other side. So stepping the right foot in front, knee on top of the ankle, back knee behind the hip. With a nice belly drawn in, arms can come up, or maybe you're staying right here for a breath. Breathing in and out. This time the right hand comes onto the thigh, left hand comes up, lengthening, and then we're breathing out. Again, inhale, lengthening up, relaxing the shoulders, breathing out. Again, breathing in and out. One more time, inhale, reach and release. Well done. Take your hands down, breathe in, chest up, tuck those back toes under, step back to downward facing dog. Nice upside down V. Draw the belly in, press into your finger pads, so the pads right underneath those nails. Okay, engage the tops of your arms. Inhale, come up on the tops of the toes, and this time we're gonna walk our feet toward our hands. Back into forward fold, Uttanasana. Good, come on up to flat back. Come down to the toes, breathing. Inhale, reach all the way up. Inhale, and then exhale, take your hands to the heart. Well done. Let's take your hands to the hips and step back into warrior one. So we're gonna step back with our right foot. Make sure your hips are square to the front of the mat as best as you can. Widen your stance so you feel nice and supported and secure into the mat. So I'm widening my stance, I'm spreading my toes a little, and I'm putting 70% of my weight on that back leg, okay? We're gonna take the arms up, but notice my arms are not reaching too high, my shoulders are nice and relaxed. My belly's drawn in and I'm lengthening through the crown of my head, feeling strong like a warrior. From here, I want you to reach up and straighten the front leg. Inhale, and then as you exhale, bend that front knee, take the arms down. Again, breathing in, reaching up. Exhale, bend that front knee. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Again, breathing in and out. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Now, keeping that front leg bent, I want you to draw the belly in and imagine you're scooping up a huge bushel of apples, but light apples. And you're opening up and offering these apples to a friend right here, right in front of you. So the belly's drawn in and the chest is lifted. Your back leg is supported and pressed into the earth. You're going to hold it here, thinking of lengthening the spine from the tailbone all the way out to the crown of the head. Holding it for three, two, one. Come on, all the way up. Reach and then release back down into that warrior pose, holding it here. Take a breath, breathing in and out. <sighs> well done. Step forward, feet are hip width distance apart, reach up, and then I want you to sink into chair pose, Utkatasana, bending. So the belly's drawn in here, relax the tail, lift up the chest. Perfect. Nice breath in and out. Now if you're feeling anything in the front of the knees, put more weight in the heels. One more breath, starting to burn, in and out. Woo. Okay, arms all the way up. Take your hands to the hips. This time we're doing warrior one on the other side. So stepping back with that left foot, widening the stance, feeling nice and supported. Back leg is straight and strong. Remember, the Shoulders are stacked on top of the hips. We're going to take the arms all the way up. My front
right knee is bent. Now we're gonna reach up, breathe in, and exhale, bend. Again, inhaling, lengthening, exhale, sinking more into the mat. Inhale, exhaling, one, two more, breathing in, exhale out, inhale, nice tight belly, lengthening up, exhale down, let's do one more for good luck, breathing in and out. Now from here, back leg is nice and strong, supported, we're drawing our belly in and opening up our arms, offering something really wonderful ahead of us. Usually I say it's a big box of chocolates, but just in the sake of being healthy, we're having a big bushel of really light apples here. So we're gonna hold it for nice two breaths. Breathe in and out, pressing to that back leg. One more breath, in and out. <sighs> well done, straighten that front leg, reach and sink back into warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, Hands to the heart. Last breath here. In and out. Ah, well done. Step forward. Reach all the way up. Hands together. Press them back to your heart. Um, Utkatasana chair pose. Ah, so think of that nice cozy chair. Chest is up. Tailbone is relaxed and down. I need to draw my belly in because I have this nice extra curve in the back. So I want to relax my tail, draw my belly in, open up my chest. Okay, one more breath, weight in the heels, breathing in, going a bit lower, and out. Maybe one more breath, in, and out. Well done, arms all the way up. Let's dive to the toes, woo. Inhale the flat back, exhale to the toes, Let's press all the way up, reach up to the sky, breathe in, take your hands to the hips, we're gonna step back with the right foot again, this time into warrior two. So front toes are facing the front of your mat, the back toes should be about 90 degrees or maybe turned in. Heel to heel or back, back of the front heel to the arch of your foot. They're all different options. Just make sure that you are nice and comfortable and you feel nice and secure. Make sure when you're bending to that front knee, you keep those hips nice and square to the floor. A lot of times we have this hip coming up. Whoop, we put that back there, press into our back leg. Take those arms out nice and parallel to the floor. It's always a good idea to look behind you. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Now from here, front knees bent, Let's take the arms all the way up, breathing in, reaching, breathing, and then breathe out, sink. Good, again, inhale, and exhale, bend. Inhale, exhaling, we're doing five, so two more, breathing in and out. One more, breathing in and out, well done. From here, let's reach, lower that front arm, and extend this arm over. Your arm, if it feels uncomfortable to be here, you can place it on the hip. If your head is uncomfortable, the neck is un uncomfortable, maybe you wanna look down. Your choice, your practice. Take a breath here, breathing in and out. <sighs> nice tight belly, we're gonna come on all the way back up, reach up, and then sink one more time back down. Breathing out. Well done. Release. Step forward to the front of the mat. Reach up and then dive to the toes. Breathe out. Inhale the flat back. Exhale to the toes. Come on all the way up. Breathing in. Then hands to the hips. So we're going to step back to the other side. Okay, so from here, same thing. Different side. Watching the hips that the back hip is not coming up. It's nice and square to the floor. Arms are out parallel as best as you can with shoulders relaxed. Okay, so from here, we're gonna straighten the front leg, reach the arms up, breathing in, and then exhale, sinking, bending down, pressing into all four corners of your feet. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, sinking, 
Again, breathing in and out. Two more, breathing in and out. Last one, breathe in and out. Same thing applies here, so we're gonna reach, lower that arm, extend all the way over. Nice, beautiful line from the back of the leg and the ear all the way coming up and over. Remember, you can take the hand onto the hip if you wish, and then you may look down to your foot. Nice breath here, inhaling and exhaling. So from here, we're gonna come out of it. We need to tighten the belly, supporting our spine. Inhale back up, reaching all the way up, straightening the front leg, and then sinking one more time, breathing out. Well done. We're gonna lower the arms. We're gonna reach all the way back up to the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale to the toes. <sighs> Inhale the flat back. Exhale to the toes. Hands to the mat. We're going to go back to downward facing dog. Lift up those hips. Walk out those legs. Great. Up on the toes. Knees to the mat. Let's go back into our child's pose. Breathe out. Nice two deep breaths here. In and out. <sighs> One more breath. In and out. We slowly come on back up into cow. Inhaling and then exhaling, rounding the back to cat. Two more of these, breathing in and then out. One more, inhale and exhale. Well done. We're gonna come on to the mat, okay? And come into a cross-legged position. We're gonna have our right foot in front of our left. Any easy sitting pose. We're gonna take the arms all the way up with a nice tight belly. And then exhale, take your hands to the heart. Wonderful, breathing in. And then breathe out, open up the arms. Again, breathing in and out. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, open up the arms. Again, breathing in and out. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're gonna take the left hand in front and the right hand behind us, nice and close to your sits bones. For a gentle twist, we're gonna lift and lengthen up the spine, breathing in and then exhale, gently twist to the right. Now, if your body's saying, I want to take this hand over to this leg, do that, please. Breathing in, lengthening, and exhale, twisting. Again, inhale, lengthening, and exhale, twist. One more time, breathing in, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Now, stay in this twist and gently see if you can look over the opposite shoulder. Take a breath here, in and out. One more breath, in and out. And to get out of pose, you need to breathe in and then exhale on the unwind. Okay, well done. We're gonna switch our feet. We're gonna open up the arms again, breathing in. This time, touching the fingertips together and then with your fists, with hands in your fists, we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades behind us. Inhale, and then exhale, squeeze. Good, breathing in. Exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades behind us. Breathing in. Exhale, squeeze. Let's do one more, breathing in. Exhale, squeeze. Well done. We're gonna breathe in and then release the shoulders down and arms. Okay, let's roll the mat. One, two, and three. Okay, so gentle twist on this side. This is our right hand in front. Our left hand's nice and close to our sits bones behind us. We're gonna breathe in, lengthening, and exhale, gently twist. Okay, the hand saying go over to that outside of that knee, do so. Breathe in, exhale, 
exhale, twisting. Again, inhale, exhale, twist. Ooh, this side's more tight for me. One more time, breathing in and exhale. Okay, gently stay in this twist. Let's see if we can look over the opposite shoulder. Oh, this is way more tight on this side for me. Ooh. So notice that each side of the body is different and one is always way grumpier than the other. So maybe this is the side that you start with the next time you practice, or maybe this is the side you stay a little bit longer in. So we're gonna do one more breath here. Oh, okay, now to come out of this pose, we breathe in and then we unwind on the exhalation. Oh, well done. Let's roll the shoulders out. One, don't forget your breathing. Two, and three. Well done. Okay, I want you to bring the knees together. Swing yourself around so you're on your mat. Make sure your feet are hip width distance apart. Your fingertips are facing the front of the mat as well. Okay, with a nice tight belly, we're gonna lift up our chest. We're gonna lift up one foot at a time. Okay, we're just modifying Navasana, which is boat pose. Just kind of gauging how our belly muscles are feeling today. So when we're in this pose, we have a tendency to slouch. We want to draw the belly and lift up our chest. And we're just kind of gently tapping our foot down versus, oh, I can't take it. So we're just gently tapping down. Now, if this is good for you, I want you to stay here. If you want more, maybe you're gonna come here. Or if you want super more, maybe you're here. And if you want super, 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 then maybe you're taking your pose to this. We're gonna hold it, so find your spot for five, four, three, breathing, tight belly, two, and one. We're gonna release and melt in front for two breaths here. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. Slowly come on up. We're gonna scooch our sit bones to our heels. Melt all the way back onto our backs. Oh yeah. Okay, from here, let's bring our knees into the chest. This is such a great pose. Ah, the knees into the chest. Just give yourself a hug. Have you given yourself a hug today and said something nice to yourself? Say something nice to yourself today. Like, I'm a good person. I am healthy. I am happy. Just fun, happy, positive affirmations are great. Okay, let's place our feet down. Go ahead and press your hands down into the earth beside you, preparing for bridge pose. In this pose, we are going to draw the belly in first. You'll feel that the hips begin to tilt up. So draw the belly button down to the mat, feeling the hips begin to lift, and then go ahead and lift them all the way up. So as you lift the hips up, we're gonna be very conscious so that the knees are facing the front of our mat so they're not flared out. So go ahead and lift up those hips and see if you can concentrate on breathing into your belly. Breathing in and out. Inhaling and out. One more breath, in and out. Now to get out of this pose, we're gonna breathe in and then breathe out, melt back down to the mat. Wait for that dog tilt of your tail to turn back down. Now go ahead and give yourself a nice big hug. Big hug. Great. Now we're gonna lower the legs down and extending the arms right behind you. Reach, lengthen all the way out. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn ourselves all the way over to our bellies and just preparing for a gentle Superman. Only because we did boat pose, we need to do the opposite of working our bellies, which is really our backs. So we're gonna come onto our bellies and you're gonna reach your arms in front of you. And from here, we're gonna draw the belly in. We're gonna inhale here, engaging your belly muscles to support the lower back. Inhale, and then exhale. We're lifting up, hands and feet, 
and seeing how far we can lengthen here, reaching to the walls in front of us, reaching to the walls behind us. Breathing here, tightening the belly muscles, maybe squeezing your glutes a little, holding it, not your breath, but holding the pose for five, four, three, two, are you breathing? And one, release. <sighs> well done. Place your head into your hands. See if you can take the toes out into Makrasana, crocodile pose. See if you can relax those hips, your sacrum, and of course your glutes. Nice deep breath here. Breathe in. <sighs> and out. Mm. Okay. We're going to take the tops of our feet back down onto the mat. Take your fingertips to the front tops of your shoulders and gently draw your belly and roll the shoulders up and back. Okay, if this is too much for the lower back, we're just going to come right here to Sphinx Pose. Same idea. Draw the belly in, lengthening the spine, looking up slightly, but not all the way back. Take a breath in. And then out, we're gonna release down. Fingertips are gonna come back to the tops of the shoulders. You're gonna lift up and back into child's pose. Breathe out. Okay, we're gonna take three deep breaths here. Child's pose has another different type of modification. I'm gonna scooch a little bit forward onto my mat. You can either have your hands in front or sometimes when you're at the end of your practice, you may wanna melt the shoulders and have the hands behind you. So three deep breaths here, please. And you're pressing your forehead into the mat. Nice breath in and out. In and out. One more breath in and out. Okay, take your hands back in front of you. Press yourselves up. We're gonna come back onto our sits bones. And come all the way back down, up and down. Woo. Okay, let's bring our right knee into the chest. That's my left. I'll go with my right here. Right with the right. Okay, right knee to the chest. We're gonna just gently lower it down to the left side. Do a gentle supine twist. This is a really wonderful twist. If anybody has ever any problems falling asleep at night? Studies show that this pose can help you tap into your parasympathetic nervous system. That's the nervous system that helps you rest and digest. So when you do this twist, I want you to relax the shoulders, soften into your hip, and breathe into your belly. Two breaths here, please. Breathe in and out. Inhaling and exhaling. Well done. We're going to bring that knee back into the center. Give it a big squeeze. I always love hugging. Okay, and release. We're going to do the other side. Left knee. And then let's go ahead and come over to this right side. And you know how my neck was a little wacky and wonky on that side? Well, there is no rule as to where you're gonna look in this pose. So you don't have to look over to your left hand. Maybe you just wanna keep it exactly where it is. I'm just focusing on breathing into my belly, relaxing into my hips and shoulders. One more breath here, breathe in and out. Maybe one more, inhale. And exhale. That's the thing, when it feels so good, you gotta continue it. Okay, come on back to center. Well done. Nice squeeze, and then we're gonna lower the legs down. So this completes the end of our gentle, relaxing, easy flow yoga. And go ahead and finish your practice in Shavasana, where you're lying down, allowing yourself to soak in and absorb the benefits of your practice, concentrating on your breathing and allowing the body just to rest and relax. Just 
So you may finish your practice in Shavasana, but I'd like to take this time to thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.